And there is the masterpiece. Bit of porridge for breakfast today. It's overcast, but there's some blue skies now showing. Uh, when I initially woke up, couldn't see anything. I was just in a massive cloud. The bike's now outside to make some room. But yeah, breakfast time. Probably should have uh, said what I was having for breakfast. So here we go. Uh, yeah, I've cooked some porridge uh, with like a 50-50 oat milk water mix ratio, some walnuts, bananas, loads of honey. So I'm getting my carbs, uh, protein, and my vitamin C from here. I'm also supplementing vitamin C because that's a really important factor in hemoglobin production, uh, iron and vitamin C. So I'm actually keeping off the um, caffeine while I'm here, which is really hard because that can have a slight effect on how your absorption of those um, different vitamins and minerals are. So yeah, I'm just not drinking caffeine just to make sure that I'm getting maximum absorption of my nutrients. So yeah, there we go. Breakfast is served. So here I am out on my first run. Uh, yeah, and look at these trails. Pretty uh, glorious terrain here. Gosh, I'm uh, pretty shocked. Um, but yeah, took up one of the Strava routes um, that they advised me, seven miles. Really keep an eye on my heart rate, just keeping it uh, kind of zone two. And if I go up to zone three on the climbs, uh, I'm just walking because um, actually your heart rate goes up a lot quicker um, at altitude, I'm finding. Um, so yeah, here we go. I'm just uh, enjoying my first run. And there's loads of people about and they're all really pleasant. And there's loads of people actually hiking you. Um, so it must be mega famous for that. As well as triathlon training. Uh, catch you in a bit. Found this uh, random bit of open woodland with these statues. I'll try and show you some of them. Mid run, I've landed by the running track. Not sure if I'm going to be able to get on this, but it would be nice. I think the swimming pool's over there as well. So it's kind of like Sporting Institute. Uh, the weather's actually getting quite nice today and pretty hot. Just back from my um, first run, and it was 12k, and uh, yeah, it was definitely harder than what I expected. It, my heart rate was flying up. Um, so only been in altitude for 24 hours. So yeah, it's nice to get the first one in the bag though. I'm now having a protein shake, and. Um, yeah, really good news. I found the swimming pool and I've got myself a pass, which cost me 70 euros for the week. That's for the gym, the track and the pool. So yeah, great success. I now need some food though. And um, yeah, mega thirsty. Dinner time and I've treated myself to some pasta again with some nuts, uh, some carrot and onion sauce, and uh, put a bit of honey in there. Yeah. Let's go for this. There's a new camper turned up. And actually today I've got two new neighbors. So actually I'm a veteran of this spot. It's funny when, um, when I turned up, yesterday people are trying to suss me out seeing if i was going to um, be some kind of weirdo 
Now I'm the one sussing new ones out, making sure they don't steal my bike. So that's the end of day two. As the sun sets and I get comfortable in my van, only a run today and tomorrow it's going to be a good one. Hopefully I've got some training partners. Yeah, still acclimatising, got a bit of a headache, which is kind of normal. Uh, keeping on top of the hydration. But the weather's looking amazing for the rest of the week. This morning I woke up and it was massively overcast. I was in the middle of a cloud. But um, it's been a lovely day today. And the trails here are amazing, like I said earlier. Um, yeah, once again, good night. I'll catch you tomorrow.